Welcome to another exciting podcast of Hearing Vox. The podcast where we discuss information related to hearing loss and impacts of hearing loss, hearing aids, and cochlear implants. In today's episode, we will discuss if allergies cause tinnitus and hearing loss. Have you ever noticed a strange loss of hearing when your allergies start acting up? You are not alone. While many people suffer from allergies throughout the year, a number of them suffer from allergy related hearing loss and tinnitus in the springtime, especially. Allergies can, in fact, affect hearing. Hay fever, also known as allergic rhinitis, often causes symptoms such as itchy eyes, a runny nose, and sneezing. It can be accompanied by an uncomfortable feeling of pressure in the ear and a sensation that the ear is clogged. So, doctor, do allergies really cause hearing loss? When allergies start to affect our body, our immune system begins to produce antibodies that release the compound histamine as a reaction to an influx of pollen. Histamine is the cause of hay fever symptoms, itchy eyes, a runny nose and sneezing. Once an excess amount of mucus is produced, the sinuses become blocked. The mucus may also block the eustachian tube, which is the drainage path for the middle ear and interferes with the sound traveling through your ears. It can cause the ear to feel full, pressured or a slight loss of hearing, along with other hay fever symptoms. Other patients may experience loud ringing noises in the ears, a symptom of tinnitus. People who already suffer from tinnitus might struggle with more severe symptoms when affected by allergies. What are the hearing problems related to allergies? There are three hearing problems related to allergies. First hearing problem is fullness. There is a buildup of excess fluid that causes pressure, fullness, or a clogged feeling in the ear. It's an uncomfortable feeling that makes it more difficult to hear at your full abilities. These symptoms will subside with the other symptoms. If you are experiencing pain, we recommend seeking medical attention as it may be an ear infection. The second hearing problem that can occur is tinnitus. The fluid buildup results in tinnitus that only occurs alongside other allergy symptoms. If you have persistent symptoms of tinnitus with or without a runny nose, sneezing or itchy eyes, contact Hearing Box to speak with an audiologist. The third problem that can occur is conductive hearing loss. When sound can't travel through the ear to the middle ear due to excess fluid or other blockages, it causes hearing loss. It may appear suddenly with other allergy-related symptoms or persist over time. It's typically curable once allergy symptoms subside or the causes are removed. If symptoms persist independently and frequently, speak with your nearest next-gen hearing clinic for testing to ensure it's treated properly. Can allergies affect hearing aids? If you wear hearing aids, you may find that allergy season affects their performance. They may not be performing as effective due to allergies clogging the hearing aids, making it more difficult to hear. Regular maintenance and cleaning of hearing aids is essential to helping it perform well and last longer. It's possible to suffer from an allergic reaction to the hearing aid itself. Potential causes are irritation such as trapped water, dry skin, or an allergy to the hearing aid material. Consult with an audiologist if you suspect you are having an allergic reaction to your hearing aids for alternative options. Do you suffer from hearing loss? If you suffer from hearing loss, sign up for a free hearing consultation call, plus 91. 937299180 or visit our website shop.hearingvox.com Thank you for listening to this insightful podcast episode by Hearing Vox. The podcast where we discuss information related to hearing loss and impacts of hearing loss, hearing aids and cochlear implants. You can also find us on YouTube and Instagram and all major podcast platforms.